But in all retrospect, this was a fail. Big fail. <laughs> y'all so we about to get ready to head out um we're doing very casual today um no foundation nothing we just have on um, brows and lashes and i filmed the brow tutorial so please stay tuned for that if you're interested so let's go girl we finna get in the car we finna head to this beauty supply store so peace out <laughs> okay y'all kind of sucked because the beauty supply store that i go to is kind of small and there were a lot of people in there so it was just too crowded i couldn't even get shots because people was steady walking by and pulling the poor reps left and right to get assistance so it was just all over the place but it's cool um uh, i could have went to the bigger location but I didn't feel like driving all the way over there. <laughs> Zing lazy. But I can show y'all what I did get. So, I got the Fashion Plus 12 inch body wave. It's a full lace wig and 12 inches. This It's the same hair that I have in now. This is the 26, 24, 22 bundles with the six by six um, closure. So the hair is really good. So I'm about to do a bob. I'm excited. I'm so excited for y'all to see how I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna post an inspo pic now so y'all can see what, what I'm going for. But the color is going to be different. Um, and the picture is like a deep navy blue. But I wanted to do like a jade color, like a sea foam, if it can focus. A sea foam J color so I got two of these because I'm not dying the whole wig as you can tell in the inspo picture so I bought two of those I got some 40 volume developer and I got a bucket O bleach I usually get the clear I think it's like quick blue or clear blue but they had the big 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 old industrial size tub for like fifty dollars and i didn't need all of that bleach because i don't really bleach hair that often so weedies and kiss snaps with this. this is my favorite edge control and y'all y'all know i love a good lash but baby look at that nice and fluffy i don't even know how much these were i didn't care i just threw them in the basket but I bought one pair to start off to test out. But let these be hidden because, look. I have on another brand. They're real meat. They're called New York something. I'll try to find the box and insert it if I can. But, yeah. Oh, and I got me a new wig stand. So I could be legit. I got me a new wig stand so I could be legit, y'all. So, yeah. I'm excited. So, let me get on by my merry way, get my family some food. I'm going to holla at y'all when I get back to the house, and we can start constructing. Not constructing, because it's already a constructed wig, but we can start dyeing the wig and getting everything together. So, peace out. All right, y'all. So, we in the lab. There's the Adore color I showed you. Then next, we have the bucket of bleach. That's the BW2 bucket I showed then I also had some leftover bleach, so I just went ahead and used the rest of that. And then there's the 40 volume developer. And then the brush and the bowl, I'm gonna mix everything in. So I went ahead and got the bleach together. I made a nice consistency, not too thin and runny, but not too thick either to where I can't spread it. So I ran out of storage when I was first applying the bleach. So here is the final um, look of the back and now I'm starting at the front. And I made sure when I was applying the bleach that I did light feathering strokes as I got closer to the root because I didn't want a harsh line from the black to the color. So here you see the final application of the bleach of the front pieces and the back. 
So I didn't like how the first application lifted. It wasn't lifted enough for me. So I went in with the second round of bleach, um, 40 developer again. And I just went over the first bleach job and make sure I feathered as I go up, feather the application as I go up so it doesn't leave a harsh line with the second layer either. And it just all blends together and meshes good. So I'm gonna keep doing that all over the pieces that I've already bleached to make them lighter. And then here is the full application of the second round of bleach. And as you can see, it's getting lighter and it's lifting a lot better to hopefully get the color deposited brighter, well, as bright as possible. So you see me here rinsing out the bleach, making sure I get all of that out. And then I went in with some Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo to try to get some of the brassiness out so we can have a good application of color. And that was the hair dried after the bleach was um, rinsed out in the purple shampoo. And now I'm going in with the actual color. So as you can see, it still didn't lift all the way up to a 613. So I already know I'm not going to get that jade till color. It's going to be darker for sure. But you know, it is what it is, it's beauty supply store hair. I wasn't expecting like platinum blonde <laughs> hair after the lift, but you know, it is what it is. So here I'm just applying the color, making sure to get every strand coated because we do not want that brassy color to shine through. Now as the color was developing, I went in with the bleach to bleach the knots. Um, I did make sure that this batch was thicker than the other one so that I won't over bleach the roots of the hair. So I washed that out, let the hair dry, and I did a light blow dry, and here's the hair fully colored and dry. Then I went in and plucked the knots, and there's the hairline plucked. And here's the style. And I did a little feather bang and bump the ends and um the hair it looks really good i put just a dab of um hair serum just you know to tame the flyaways and the frizziness and to give the hair some shine and luster but the overall the hair is really good for it to have been bleached twice and colored oh and i did deep condition with the suave professional shea and almond conditioner so hey y'all this is the wig installed and I am so happy but in all retrospect this was a fail big fail but it was a it was a good fail I am so happy with the color there's the back it okay so by this being a beauty supply store wig I already knew that it wasn't going to live to a pure 613 but I was expecting it to lift probably a couple levels more than it did. But I'm not mad at this at all. Look at this, y'all. It's like a money green. We going. What a money reside. What a money reside. What a money reside. What a money. Pretty much with this wig. So to install it, I used the guy to me. And this right here, y'all, focus on me. Focus. The bowl hold liquid gold. This is good. I just need to get used to it. This is my first time using it, but I feel like I did a pretty decent job. My tabs, my ear tabs look a little sketchy. Not gonna lie. But for overall, this is good. Like I am a five by five or six by six poses type of girl. This is a full lace wig. So it's basically a frontal, but without the tracks in the back. And the way my hairline is, me and frontal just don't get along. But I feel like with the bow hold, because it's basically like gel, I can get away with having some of it on my hairline, which makes the application so much easier, so much better. Oh, and don't mind my nails. I'm in the process of taking those off because I'm going to do a fresh new set and you guys will be coming along with me for that set. So stay tuned to that as well. But yeah, and if it looks like I'm looking off, I'm looking at myself in the mirror looking at this wig. 
But yeah, but overall, the Fashion Plus hair is so good. This is my first time getting an actual wig from them. I would usually just get the bundles and make my own on my sewing machine. But this is good. Um, my only, only con is for one, the hair was hecka thin. I got a 12 inch, but I already knew I was going to cut it into a bob. So this is good for bobs. Don't buy a 10 inch because if you buy a 10 inch and try to cut it into a bob, your bob will be like Edna Mode. And we don't need that, period. Um, but yeah, I already knew I was cutting it, so I got the 12 inch and it was perfect. The hair is excellent quality. As you can tell, it's flowy. Don't mind my daughter running back and forth, y'all. <laughs> but as you can tell, the quality is really good. I bleached the hair twice. The hair is not shedding. The hair is not breaking. It's soft. It moves. It ain't stiff. It lifted. It did a decent lift, and it did take the color pretty good. So I'm here for it. Um, I did not like how dark the lace was. The lace was like this weird dark grayish brownish color. But I've used makeup. So that kind of just camouflaged that that took care of that issue. But all in all, I'm happy for my fail. And you will be seeing this wig. Eventually, uh, when I get tired of the green, I'm gonna strip the color out and maybe do some dark ash blonde highlights or pick another color. What other color y'all want me to do? Should I do purple? Should I do the blue in the inspo pick? Should I try to lift it again to see if it can go lighter? Like, y'all let me know what I should do in the next go along. But yeah, but I thank y'all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to tell a friend and share this video because we have fun and I have so much more in store for y'all. I promise I do. So, that's all I got for y'all. Thank y'all for watching this vlog. Oh, and if you made it to the, this point of the video, drop a money sign down below for this money green hair. Drop the dollar sign so I know that you made it this far. You stuck with me to the end. All right, y'all. I love y'all.